What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. So, you want to make gold in Season of Discovery, or maybe you have some gold and you want to use the gold you already have to make even more gold. Well, today we're talking about Phase 3 investments, things you can buy right now, sell in Phase 3, and hopefully, very likely, make a lot of profit by doing this. It's items that have little to no demand right now, and some speculative investments as well that will go up with inflation and stuff like that. It's items that will very likely go up in price in Phase 3 three for many different reasons and it's items that I personally invested in and I have a lot of faith in. Now, we already made one video talking about investments and things you can buy, like for example Bolt of Ruin Cloth, Rugged Leather, all of the regular Phase 3 investments. This one is going to be Phase 3 investment number 2, talking about a little bit more speculative items and some lesser known Phase 3 investments. Even though many of them are regular items that many people might know about, they might not be in the regular category of, um, what did I just say? Category of Phase 3 investments. Now, this video and all of the other gold making videos I make will always be in early access to anyone who has my gold making guide, which if you haven't picked it up yet, the link will be down below. It's currently a 157 pages long document for gold making in Classic WoW Season of Discovery. Now, we recently had a Phase 2 update here, which, which push this to 157 pages. Now the, the guide itself, it's like an introduction to gold making covering a little bit of everything, playing the auction house, auction house strategies, flipping strategies, what to craft, what to sell, where to farm, what to farm and why to farm there. It's like an, a whole overview to everything about gold making and gold farming. It also includes access to a private gold making discord server where you can have access to me 24 7 and we're just talking about gold making i reveal even more tips and tricks and secrets in that discord as well and that is also where the early access to videos are posted we have for example had two insane farms in phase two in early access for two weeks and we're going to emulate this in phase three as well giving early access to gold farming videos, investment videos, gold making videos, you name it. So if you want to make more gold, have access to information before it's public, that is the place to be. You can check out the guide through the link down below in the video description or the pinned comment. Now let's get into some investments baby. Now for the first one for today I want to talk about Winter Squid. This is a pretty like um, not really obvious investment but it's something that a lot of people are talking about and for fair reason. Right now the demand for this is absolutely zero because we can't do anything with this. Winter Squid is an item that can only be fished at certain times of the year and that is running out. It can only be fished for a couple more weeks. As of me making this video, I'm not sure when it's going public, I'm going to have to edit this and make the video into like an actual video, but when I'm recording this and talking about it, it goes away in a little bit under two weeks, or roughly two weeks. So Winter Squid cannot be farmed the year round, and this gives it a um, low supply when it can't be farmed. So supply is not endless here, and when the supply goes out, well, it's not coming back. And they can only be farmed at certain times of the year, it can only be farmed in the winter times. We're about to head into summer, which means we'll have about six months where this item can not be farmed. Now, Winter Squid is used in crafting something called Grilled Squid, which pretty much all melee or agility users really want to have next phase. If Blizzard doesn't make an alternative, which they might end up doing, that's why this one is kind of in the speculative category, because Blizzard might make an alternative for people to use in Phase 3 and Phase 4, but the, for Phase 3 specifically, there might be alternatives, but even if there are, Winter Squid could still be going up in price by quite a significant margin, and it's definitely worth taking a look into. You can for example farm it yourself while it can be farmed, or you can also invest into it. I have for example bought 721 of them for an average price of 46.93 silver each, as you can see on the screen. Now that is just item number Number one, that is Winter Squid, definitely once again worth looking into. We also have a Blind Weed. This is also an item that can be um, it can be farmed plus bought at the Darkman Fair at the moment, and you can buy it right now in the auction house for a somewhat cheap price compared to what it might end up being later down.
down the line. Blind weed is used in many different crafts with a lot higher skill requirement than we currently have access to in phase 2. This gives it a very low demand in phase 3, uh, in phase 2 I mean, and an increased demand in phase 3 and every single phase afterwards as well. This one could not just be a phase 3 investment, could even be a phase 4 investment, and they're just incredibly cheap on the auction house. Well, for the most part, pretty cheap on the blind weed. We also have, while talking about herbs, and golden sansam as well, which can also, it cannot be farmed, but it can be picked up at the Darkman Fair. This gives you the ability to pick it up yourself at the Darkman Fair, or buy it on the auction house for a little bit of an upsell for the most part, but you should be able to buy it for between 30 and 40 silver. Now for me, it's listed for 1 gold, but you can also see that it's 250% of the regular market value. Now, while we are on the topic of herbs, we also have ghost mushrooms, which are also in the same case that it can be bought at the Darkman Fair vendor, or bought on the auction house for a little bit of an upsell. At the moment, this is 1.5 gold. It is worth noting this is on the Alliance side, because we can't farm this. If you're playing Horde, you can actually farm these in Phase 2 by having a Tauren with Herbalism, and having the Herbalist Enchant as well. So this one will be significantly cheaper, most likely on the Horde side side compared to the Alliance side, but this one could also be worth picking up if you can get it for cheap, and then yeah, we can save it for the next phase, or you can use it and sell it right now, it really depends, this one could actually be worth selling right now at the current price, it really just depends on the price you are personally able to pick it up at, because ghost mushrooms have little to no demand in phase 2, but demand will simply just keep increasing from the next phase. Now a couple of more investment is number 1, we have gold pearl. Golden pearls are selling for 13 gold each on my server, and I believe that is the most expensive server at the moment for golden pearls. So golden pearls, even then, that's a pretty cheap price for a golden pearl. I remember I used to sell these for 50 gold each, like back in Classic WoW, so 12 gold for a golden pearl should be fairly cheap, especially with the seasonal discovery economy that we have. We have so much inflation coming in every single phase by people completing quests at max level, and now we have the weighted supplies as well, giving between 5.5 gold each and 12 gold each for a weighted supplies hand in. So golden pearls, no demand in phase two, and just an increasing demand in every single phase afterwards, like after phase two. This could be both a phase three and a phase four investment with very, with very high upsides, and personally I can't see this one going down to under 10 gold each, so between 12 and 13 is fine. I have personally bought 106 of them for 5 gold, but I bought them very early in the phase. So we have 82 of them at the moment on us as well, so we bought them for very cheap. 5 gold each, average price, 2.75 for the cheapest one, and 7.5 for the most expensive one. Now aside from gold and pearl, those are the most obvious investment, I also want to talk about a couple that will be increasing in price with inflation. Number one is Firefin Snapper. Firefin Snapper is used in making fire oil, which first of all is used in a waylaid supply, which gives it a constant demand 24-7. It's also used in elixir of firepower, which will have a constant demand because that is also used in a waylaid supply, plus it's used by fire mages and destruction warlocks maybe even some other classes too, but especially those two. So this one will have a constant demand in every single phase, and that will just make it keep increasing in price with inflation. I would personally buy Firefin Snappers for any leftover gold that you have after doing the main investments, just to make sure you keep the gold value. Instead of sitting on 1000 gold right now, and then having 1000 gold in phase 3, which will be less powerful, like the actual power value of every single gold will go down down, if you put those into Firefin Snappers, you might have 1.4k, but in, in like items, instead of having 1k. So I would definitely put them into that, and if you do that, make them into Fire Oil, that will make it take up less than half the bag space, or exactly half the bag space, because two Firefin Snappers are used to make one oil, and they both stack up to 20. So if you buy Firefin Snappers and you want to store them for phase 3, even phase 4, but let's just say phase 3, 
make them into fire oil. That way they take half the bag space. Now, one more item that is in the exact same category here is the oily black mouth. And this one will also just keep increasing in price with inflation as it has a constant demand from the, um, the black mouth oil which is also further used in making a bunch of different items. So this one will be increasing in demand due to like, it's still being used in relevant crafts. And there are more crafts opening up that are also using this item. Now this one, again, you can also use in making black mouth oil to make it take half the bag space instead of storing it as a regular oily black mouth. So buy oily black mouth, make them into the oil and store them as the oil and sell them later on. Now one more item, and this is the final one for today, is going to be turtle meat. This one is, is kind of weird, but they're just, they're just so cheap and they're used in a whale aid supply. One of the metrics or one of the, um, one pattern that I personally saw from phase one to phase two was that whale in supplies from phase one, they either kept their price or they went up in price. Many of the items, like for example smoked bear meat, has gone up in price and they're selling for a like up um, upped gold value. And I can see this happening to turtle meat. We're getting a bunch of turtle meat in phase 2 by killing turtles all over the place, especially the turtle farm in Tanaris for example. So supply of turtle meat right now is probably at an all time high and it will still have a demand next phase as well making it first of all less farmed and still a pretty significant demand plus inflation could play a part here in making this go up in price. That being said, it's only selling for 1.8 silver each, so you'll, you will not be getting rich from turtle meat, but it could be worth looking into. Now, I did say that was going to be the final one, but I'll, I'll leave you with two more, and that is Vision Dust and also Dream Dust. Vision Dust is used in a couple of the somewhat cheap and usually recommended skill up... Um, crafts for enchanting and it's currently selling for 1.8 silver each on my auction house so vision dust worth looking looking into just keep an eye out on them and buy them when they're really cheap on your auction house and the last but not least, you also have Dream Dust, which are used in crafting a bunch of things, and it's like an item that is in very low demand right now in Phase 2, and just has an increased demand in Phase 3 by being used in a bunch more crafts. I don't even think it's even used in Phase 2, while it's used in a lot of crafts that do become available in Phase 3. And those are some of the items that you could be putting your gold into right now to get a lot more gold back in the next phase. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today, hopefully it was able to help you out, and we'll see when phase 3 comes out, how much profit we make, or how much gold we lose. Either way, thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you again very soon.